The next relationship in the list is one to many. This means that a single model owns any amount of other models. For example, a user owns many articles. So let's work with this. I will go to my terminal to enter the workspace. So docker compose exec workspace bash. Now I can access PHP artisan. So PHP artisan make model article dash m. So dash m will also create the migration for this model. Now in the articles table, if I open the articles table, I want a foreign key. So table integer user ID. I want a title. So title and also the body of the article. So text body. So now let's migrate. So I will go back to my terminal PHP artisan migrate. And we should have in the database the new article stable. OK, so we need some dummy articles in order to show you the one to many relationship. So I don't want to spend time creating a form in, in order to create articles because we already know how to do it. So let's use seeding to create 100 articles. So I will go back to PHP Storm and open model factory. So let me copy this and I will get rid of the password and I will change user to article. So we have a user ID and let's get a random user ID. So user all random ID. For the title, we can use faker and create a sentence. For the body, again, faker, paragraph, and I will create a random number of paragraphs starting from three up to five. Okay. Now inside database seeder, let's create 10 users. So factory app user class 10 users. And also 100 articles. So article class 100 create. Okay. Of course, because a user has one profile, we should also create a profile for each user. So we need a factory for the profile, of course. So let me copy this one, paste it. So now this is profile. For the city, we can use faker city. And for the body, we can just change body to about and we keep the same faker logic. All right, now back to database seeder. So for each user, I want to create a profile. Well, we can very easily do this. We say for each and this is a function user. And we want to get the user, create a profile for this user and save it. So profile save. And of course, we are going to use the factory app profile to create a profile. And we call make like that. OK, so now let's run PHP artisan migrate refresh dash dash seed. So this should create the profiles, the articles, the users, everything. So if I go back to this now, we have 100 articles. We have 10 profiles and each profile is assigned to a user. And of course, we have the 10 users. Now I should also be authenticated as user with ID one, which is Alexi. And you can verify it inside the user table. OK, so this was our setup. The next step is to create an endpoint to get the articles that belong to this user. So I want something like like this, for example, users and then the ID of the user and then articles. So this is what I want. 
So if I go back to web.php, we can definitely create this. So route get users, and then we have the ID and then articles. So we are going to use the article user controller at index. So let's create the controller PHP artisan make controller article user controller. Let me open this article user controller and let's also create the function the index and this expects an ID so user ID. Uh, do I have this user ID? Okay, let me also have this user ID as well. Okay. Now inside user model, I want to define the first relationship. So a user has many articles. This is very easily to define. So this will be called articles and we can return these has many. So a user has many articles. So article class. Okay. Now inside the controller and of course inside the index function, let's get the user. So user equals to user find and we pass the user ID and let's return the articles that this user owns. So if I go back to the browser now and I reload and user not found. So let me import this use app user. Okay, back to this. And as you can see, we get the articles for user with ID one. So this user has six articles, user with ID two has eight articles and so on. Again, to make this relationship, this one to many relationship work, what we did was to define a user ID inside the articles table. So each article now belongs to a user and you have to remember this because it will be important for the next video where we take a look at the inverse of one to many. So to close this video, let me create a view and display the articles for each user. So inside the resources, views, create a new folder, articles and a new blade file, index.blade.php. Let me get the content from home and paste it inside index. Now let me delete everything inside here and I will create a div with class list group and I want to loop through each article. So for each articles as article, I also need another div and this one has class name list group item. Now I want to display the title inside an H4 and the class for this one will be list group item heading. So we display the article title, so article title and I need a paragraph for the body. So this one has class list group item text and we display the article body. So now of course we have to return the view and pass to it the articles. So I will change this to articles. So for this user, let's get the articles and let's return view articles dot index compact articles. All right. So if I go back to this now, we should get the view and undefined variable article, of course, because this is, uh, let me take a look uh, inside the index file. So let's fix this. So inside here, this should be articles. Okay, back to this now, reload. And as you can see, we get the articles for user with ID two. So if I go to user with ID one, we should get different articles and so on and so forth. Perfect.